Hello everyone. Our college is PS Modern College of Engineering Computer Department. Uh, this is a mini project that we did for LP2 in uh, data warehousing and mining. Then uh, our uh, group teacher was Professor uh, Modani, and uh, we are a group of four people uh, Shantanu Mangale. Chinmay Nikam, Gaurav Vugat and Pratik Patil. So our topic was heart failure prediction using rapid minor. So moving on to the problem statement. Uh, it was like that. Consider the label data set named heart failure prediction to predict death event of the patient. Applied suitable data pre-processing techniques. Predicted the class of labeled feature by using generalized linear gradient boosted trees and random forest classification algorithms and calculated accuracy and precision through confusion matrix so now we will move to the data set part so as you can see here i have imported a data set like heart failure prediction actually it had uh, in the data set that I downloaded from Kaggle had no empty values or null values so I haven't done anything other than importing it and changing the data uh, data type that uh, we can do while importing the data like for death event we, as we can see here like it is in like binary form like 0 and 1 so i have changed its data type to uh, binomial and same i have done for uh, every other feature or attribute in this uh, data set which has uh, the data in the form of 0 or 1 or we can say binary so i have changed it to binomial so after doing that i will now explain you the data set so this is our data set in this data set uh, all these features like age and mea uh, anemia like keratin uh, diabetes high blood pressure platelets like all these if the person specific person smokes or not all these are the features from which it we have to predict or build a model in such a way that train our uh, data set in such a way that it can predict that uh, in which case a death case death event can happen so moving on through the design part so here we actually uh, applied all the uh, all we can uh, we can say all but uh, majority of the models that are used for classification so the reason behind choosing the specified that uh, models that are specified earlier like a generalized linear model gradient boosted tree process and random forest where the accuracy that they had were greater than accuracy or precision that they had were greater than the uh, th than that of uh, decentry process or like KNN process or naive bias so now I will try and explain the flow of flow of a specific uh, data uh, data model so classification model so in here the this operator actually uh, is an operator which uh, it can access uh, the data set from the repository and uh, like it will import the data set right then uh, in the uh, then it will pass the data set it will use the data set in the sub process so sub process is what sub process uh, this operator introduces a process within a process whenever a uh, sub process operator is reached during the process execution first the entire process is executed so once the sub process execution is complete the flow is returned to the process so in our sub process 
like we have done the pre-processing uh, things that we can do actually uh, here there was no need to do the pre-processing as it had the data set had the no null values or no missing values but uh, if there was any we have done some thing uh, some pre-processing for that so here I have done the replace I have taken an operator like uh, replace missing values so in replace missing values what we can do the, the what this operator does the operator replaces missing values in example of selected attributes by a specified replacement so uh, here I have actually in uh, the, the parameters that I have set for this is actually this is none so if I keep it none then uh, it will actually remove the specific uh, row that that is having a null value so I uh, if you don't want to do that I have we can do the minimum value from that uh, row or minimum table or maximum value or average or some more value specific value that you want to enter but uh, I have done here average so I have changed that parameter and uh, then the set role operator the, the set role operator is uh, used to change the role of one or more attributes so like what uh, what parameter I have changed in the set role that what uh, what I want to predict like what is what will what is the attribute name of the specific prediction that I want to do like here it is date event like the final answer or output that we want or or the specific classification methods all the models to predict is that if a person dies a death event occurs in specific condition or not so I have selected here date event and the target role is the label so, so I have selected here label cause the date event uh, thing was like label that final uh, final uh, thing was that, that it was the target so I have selected date event so moving on to the uh, process part then after this that that after the pre-processing of the data it goes to the splitting of data so what does uh, what is the split data what split data operator it does the split data the uh, operator produces the desired number of subset of the given example set the example set is partitioned into subsets according to the specified relative sizes so uh, we can actually split a specific data for uh, in simplified words it is uh, we can split the specific data in such an amount that if I want to send a specific data, specific amount of data for uh, training purpose and specific amount of data for testing purpose, purpose I can uh, specify it here. So here are the parameters that I have inserted in this. So like I have sent the 80% data for training purpose and to the model and 20% uh, data which is left to testing purpose. So okay after that it uh, it sends uh, like here we can see that the 80 percent data that we uh, sp split from the our main database data set it will uh, then be sent to the optimized parameter so what is what is optimized parameter so optimized parameters optimized parameters are the operator which finds the optimal value of the selected parameters of the operator in its sub process so in in that optimized parameter I have inserted one more uh, operator which is the optimized parameter so this operate optimized parameters operators finds the uh, so uh, I have inserted here the cross sorry I was I have inserted here the cross validation operator this operator performs cross validation to estimate the statistical performance of a learning model so in here as we can see here it is training and testing two fields are there so in training purpose the that 80 percent data that we split it earlier it will come to this specific model i have inserted the uh, this operator uh, like this generalized linear model which is just class classification here i have inserted uh, the 80 percent data will come here the data will get trained and it will move on uh, and then uh, the 20% data that was left behind that it will go to the testing part so in that 
it will uh, the whatever the this uh, training was done then it will be applied on the model and that 20 percent data will come here and that specific training that had happened then that will get applied on the 20 percent data and uh, so it will get applied and then it will find the performance okay so what will up in the apply op operator the operator applies the model on that example set so after that uh, what is here we uh, we have to find uh, we've applied the performance operator here so in uh, in this uh, performance operator what is this performance operator so the uh, this operator is used to statistically evaluate the strengths and weakness of the binary classification after a trained model has been applied to a labeled data right so i have specified here like uh, the positive class what is the positive class i have said here the uh, manually set the positive class so positive class is the death event is happening in our data set okay so i have set it the positive the positive class as one and then i have also added a precision tab in this actually in default it is accuracy only i have added the precision also so then uh, all this get calculated and then we can see that it gives us a specific output so i will show you the output of this specific classification model like which is a generalized linear model process so i will run it so as you can see here the accuracy of that specific classification model after applying on that data set was 81.67% so and we can also see the precision here the precision actually is quite good so i would say we can we should use this data then same can same is done on that uh, random forest uh, random forest classification model and all those but only the only thing that we changed in that in those were classification models that were the optima in optimized parameters and classification uh, cross validation sorry uh, this portion only here we have changed the specific uh, the classification model that we want to have so, so that will be the end of the project Thank you.